Hey team, Coach Luke here. Got a great all-in-one workout for you today. So we're gonna start with a warm-up, the actual workout, and a cool-down period. Today's workout's a little bit more intense. Uh, it's gonna be four rounds of five minutes. The last minute, the fifth minute, is always gonna be a full minute's rest. So due to this intensity, you will have the number, I will post the number of reps in brackets. It's gonna be an optional number. So you can lower the amount of reps, therefore giving you the opportunity to finish that minute and get a little bit of rest to start the next minute. All right, so bring your towel, bring your water. This is going to be a good one. All right, let's do this. Okay, team, I'm excited about this one. So I got my sweat towel here, I got my water, and I'm ready to go. So let's get started. We're going to start with a warm-up here, looking at five minutes on the warm-up, starting with some toe touches. Let's go. One. So if your hands can't touch your toe, it's okay. Lift that leg as high as you possibly can without overdoing it. And it's back and forth, doing this for 30 seconds. So we'll stretch our hamstring a little bit. 10 seconds to go. And coming up next, we have some side to side hops for 30 seconds as well. Three, two, one. Let's hop over. Stretch up the calves. A little bit, legs, halfway. Good, 10 seconds. Coming up next, gonna be our inchworm. Inchworm, I'll talk you through it here. Three, two, one. So nice. inchworm shoulder width apart. It is gonna come down, straight plank, back up, all the way down. Sometimes I'll throw in a push up at the end of this, but not this time. Saving up my, saving up that chest here for my hand release push-ups we got coming up. This, we're doing this for a whole minute, so it's taking a little bit longer. Each movement, we're halfway. Back up. Twenty seconds. The straighter you can keep your legs, the better it is. At least stretch that hamstring. All right. Coming up next, alternating hip rotation. It's external hip rotation. Trying to get that knee nice and high. If you can bring it as far back as possible, but try to keep your hips facing the front. Seconds got ten left. Three, two, one. All right, internally, let's bring it in. Also, thirty seconds. I guess for a full body workout, you need a full body warm up. So, I think it's important to pair those. Make sure you make sure you warm up. What you're going to be using in the workout. Very important. All right, coming up next, guys, some butt kicks. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up. Ten seconds. Those heels going high. Three, two, one. All right, alternating reverse lunge here. You don't need to go fast on this. I always like to have my knee kind of kiss the ground in those lunges. Because we're going to have some jumping lunges in the workout. Fun stuff. I'm starting to spoil it for you. Let you know all the movements. 10 seconds. Lunges, you got to really feel that movement. Keeping the chest up. Come back to full extension. Keeping that chest tall is always the most important part. All right, last jumping jack. Let's go. Feel 
15 seconds. Three, two, one, time. Good job, everyone. That's awesome. That's good warm up. A little bit out of breath, not too much. So, gonna get started. Like I said, four rounds. Every minute on the minute, we have a pair of two movements, eight movements total in the first and all in, that, in all the rounds. So five minute rounds, the fifth minute is always gonna be a full minute break, rest. So those four minutes are kind of meant to be intense, not necessarily as a sprint. You're still gonna have some time to recover. However, we're gonna increase the rep count each round. So you gotta have less and less time to recover. So first we're gonna start with the first round with eight jumping lunges, followed by eight hip bridges. Okay, so like I said, first it might be a little slow, but it'll catch up. We're gonna increase by two reps each round for the next three rounds after this one. All right, so let's get ready here. Like I said, I'll talk you through the movements. In three, two, one, let's start with jumping lunges. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. As an option, you can always do just regular reverse lunge on these ones. Hip bridge, so hip bridge. One, two, push those hips up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Really squeeze up these glutes when you're up there. Like I said, the option would have been six reps on this first round. So say one to one ratio on the Rest the work here, so or work the rest. So we still have time. So coming up next, hand release push-up. So eight hand release push-up, followed by eight plank to side knee. So eight and eight, eight hand release push-up here in five seconds. Three, two, one, hand release push-up. One, two, three, you can also do that. Do those on your knees. Eight, like I say, many options. You can do a regular push up, push up on your knees, however you want to take. All right, plank to side knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And on the knees, you can always, for the plank, you always do it on the bench if you have a bench. Or you can do it up on your knees. So plank the high knee on your knees. Sorry, side knee. All right, another 20 seconds rest here. Minute three, eight jump squats. So I get a little bit more dynamic in the last two minutes. Get the heart rate up a little bit. So it's eight jump squat followed by eight swimmers. I'll talk you through swimmers. Jump squat, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. You can always do regular squats on those jump squats. That's okay. And eight swimmers. Lay down flat. Opposite arm, opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Always trying to keep that back leg nice and tight. The quads engage. Really stressing on that, on that glute. All right, half and half. 30 second work, 30 second rest. So I'm going to break a sweat here, which is great. So I, exactly where I want to be. Next, the infamous burpee. Eight burpees. And you got to have 12 bridge alternating toe touch. That one's a tricky one, but I'll talk you through it. All right, get ready for some burpees. Eight burpees. This is a burpee push-up. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Two. Bridge to alternating toe touch. And you got about wrist position. One, two, three. As an option, you could do a crunch to toe touch. Okay? That's your option. Four, five, six, 
seven and eight. As you go through, you kind of want to transfer your weight here or else you kind of collapse on the side. So that's a great, great movement. All right. It was a little bit longer with the explanations, but it's all good. So you have five seconds left and the whole, the next minute is our minute to rest. So if you chose the option for, for six, six reps, that's great. So this is my first minute and close this off. All right. So next, next set here, next round in 40 seconds, I'm going to start with 10, 10 jumping lunges, 10 hit bridge, and then we'll see where it takes us. So we're going to do eight, 10, 12, and 14 on the last round. It's going to be spicy, but it's okay. That's the kind of workouts that I like. Hopefully you like it too. Like I say, play with the numbers and the options. Everything is scalable. Any workout. Wherever you go online, you look at something, oh, I can't do this. Yes, you can. There's just a different variation. Don't, uh, don't hesitate to ask me questions all the time in the comments. And then five seconds. Eight, ten, jumping lunges. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like I say, you can always do reverse lunges on this one. Hip bridge. So hip bridge. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Halfway. Once again, 30 30. 30 seconds on, 30 off. This will catch up eventually, that's okay. If you don't finish in the 30 seconds, finish that minute. I catch your breath. Coming up next, hand release push-ups. So hand release push-ups and plank the side knee. 10 seconds. Once again, do regular push-ups, push up on your knees. You can let go of the release, just do regular push-ups. Three, two, one, or 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Side plank to, sorry, plank to side knee. One, two, three, four. Really bring that knee up. I feel it in my core here. Eight, nine, and ten. Ah. Good stuff, you got 20, a little over 20 seconds left. Whew. Can't wait till the 12 and 14. I did a trial on the 14 early on and it's getting closer and closer to the minute. All right, jump squat and swimmers. 10 jump squat in three, two, one, let's go. One. Swimmers. I really like that one for some reason. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. I always keep that body tight. I always keep my arms nice and nice and engaged. Same with the back leg. Keep my whole body tight. That's a great movement. I do more of that. All right. There's the minute four. That's going to be the dreaded minute with the burpees. So 10 burpees and eight bridging. So we bridge to alternating toe touch. That's the money minute right there. Get ready here. 10 burpees in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, and then push up here. Alternating toe touch. The beauty about this minute, you don't want to milk it, but you got another minute's rest after that. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, ten seconds. 
seconds left on the minute. The goal is to finish before the end of the minute. If you don't want to slide into that last minute, even though you might at the end, that burpee round at the end with the 14, almost takes the whole minute. Like I say, if you're using the options, that's great on the reps. You know your capacity, you know what you're capable of. If you don't, you'll figure it out pretty quick in that workout. All right, so we're in our minutes rest here. So on the third minute, sorry, third round, a little out of breath here, you know, about halfway. We're gonna go for 12 reps, 12 reps of each. Oh, uh, those are my kind of workouts. That's what I do day in, day out. Obviously mixed in with some weightlifting, a little bit of everything. But for my cardio, every minute on the minute, those types of workouts are awesome. And this, you can do it at home. You don't need any weights, anything, nothing at all. I'll introduce you guys to the bands eventually. All right, get ready here. Third minute, 12 reps. 12 reps, jumping lunges in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, ten, 11, 12, I love it. All right, hit bridge here. Really tighten those glutes all the way up. Three, four, six, seven, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, twenty seconds to go here. Eating some of that minute. All right, next hand release push ups and then plank. Side knee. Get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And we're just push up and two out. One. Option you choose for this workout, I always stick with the options. Don't change halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Oh, that's starting to feel good. That's the beauty of working out. That's when I get my high. Getting all, getting all sweaty, enjoying the intensity. That's how you get the fitness. It is a journey, not a destination for sure. All right, get ready. Jump squats for 12, followed by some swingers. Two, one, let's go. seconds. All right. How oh, the burpees. All right, so 12, 12 burpees and a 12 bridge to alternating toe touch. Love this part. You ready? In three, two, one. Let's go.
yeah. Good stuff. I don't know about you. My heart rate is up. Can still talk though. That's a good thing. Still that aerobic, aerobic part here. Usually aerobic, you can still talk a little bit. You don't necessarily hold a full conversation. You can be an anaerobic, very that uncomfortable, very uncomfortable part. Usually you can't really talk that much. Matter of fact, you don't, probably, don't feel like talking. All right, last round. Last round, you guys hang in there. 14 reps. Probably not a lot of breaks in there, but you get one at the end, and we're gonna cool down, and I'll be it for today, so you hang tough. Hang tough. <laughs> Should get some new kids on the block. If you guys have your own music, I hope you do. Get you motivated. I usually work out with music, but we do royalties and stuff on YouTube. A little different. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one. 14 lunges. Bridge. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, starting to feel it in my hamstring a little bit here. I like it. All right, coming up. Got 12 seconds left, and release push up, and plank the side knees. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one, and release push up. seconds. Oh, we're appreciating the endurance that you need in this workout. For a long time, you got to hold that, hold that stamina and keep it going. Jump squat, followed by swimmers in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14. Always explosive on those squats, on those jump squats. All right, swimmers, let's do it this way. All right. burpees, 14 bridges, bridge alternating toe touch. Oh yeah, that's gonna burn five seconds. Three, two, one, let's do it. Nine, ten, back, 
well, 13, 14, oh, four seconds left. If you're not finished, finish it off. Let's go. Hang in there till the end. It's okay, this is our last minute rest. Good job, gang. That was awesome. Let's finish it off. You're not finished. Oh, yeah. That feels so good. This is the workout. Once again, that's a workout you can do at home. Lots happening in this workout, however, you can do it anytime, anywhere. Oh, it's good stuff. All right, we're taking that last minute of rest here before we're gonna cool down a little bit. All of you did awesome, that's great. Hydration is gonna be very important after this workout. All those minerals, if you get your shake on after that, get the protein shake, whatever you do. That's what I do. Actually, I'll probably go for lunch after this. Save the shake for later. All right, time. Good job, everyone. Let's, let's stretch it out here. A little cool down. Let's start with a single leg. Single leg forward, forward fold here. And let's go. So bring your leg in. And just lean towards your right knee here. Don't, don't force it. Let gravity do its thing here. Let your chest fall back down. You'll feel it in your hamstring a little bit, lower back. It's a great stretch. Do this for 30 seconds. Well, 10 more now. Good job, that was a great workout. And three, two, one, let's switch it up. Once again, always some options on this workout. All right, do the other side here. All right. Let me see the gravity do its thing. All right. Let's do next, we'll do the pigeon pose here. 30 seconds. Bring it up front here, come down, all right, and place your leg wherever you feel comfortable. You shouldn't be full, feeling any pulling in the knee or whatnot, however you should feel it stretching in your glutes a little bit. We're going to be here for one minute, just a little bit longer. This cool down is about seven minutes, so just hang in there, very important to cool down. Often neglected is the cool down period. I always do a series of stretch after this. So if you chose the option, I guess you know where you stand. If you did the whole the 8, 10, 12, 14 and made it through, that's awesome. Obviously, yeah, there's always options. Don't feel bad if you used an option, lowered your, lowered your, uh, your rep count. It's all good. This was made to be intense. That's why we had the one minute rest after each round. Recover and get back to it. If you do this straight up, it's doable, but uh, different type of workout. All right, three. Two, one, let's do the other side. Left leg. Pigeon pose here. There was a lot of movements in there, which is great. There's a lot of uh, a lot of variations. Kind of a little bit of a buildup, which was uh, kind of done on purpose, where it starts a little slower, and then at the end, all the uh, jumping lunges and the burpees kind of kick, kicks up the intensity a little bit. And we're halfway there. Ah. For 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, you can stand up. All right, let's do a cross body static stretch here. A little shoulder. Bring this over. Try to grab your arm above the elbow. Try to keep your shoulder down. Like, don't bring your shoulder up. Kind of bring it down. Really stretch. 
All right, everyone, let's go ahead and change arm on that cross body static stretch. This is actually the moment in the video where my battery left me and the camera went down. So I figured I didn't want to have to redo the whole workout here. So I decided just to uh, be the narrator here for the next uh, 90 seconds. So great job today. Great workout. I had a lot of fun doing the workout, also programming it. I always like to program those no equipment workout. All right, let's change here to a standing overhead side reach on the right side. So make sure your arms are nice and straight. Fingers are in lace at the top. Stretch it out. You should feel it pulling in your lats, a little bit of your tricep. This for 30 seconds. So yes, I had a great time doing this workout. Like I said, there's always options. Uh, you can always switch the amount of reps. You can change some of the movement, different options. It's good stuff. All right, in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and switch side. It's on the same side on your screen there because I was using uh, using my demo to finish this off. So all good stuff. I had a great time doing this workout with you. Uh, like I say, I always check on my channel. There are a lot of different uh, different videos, different length of workouts. And don't forget to subscribe. If you like today's workout, press that like button, write comments and questions below. All right, good to have you. Y'all have fun. Drink a lot of water. Cheers.